Spark Cycle Works Javelin The Connecticut-based Spark Cycle Works needs no introduction in the e-bike community, as this small company managed to make one of the best e-mopeds on the American market. For the upcoming 2025 model year, they have announced a brand new model that's catered to the needs of lightweighted motorcycle riders. The new Spark Cycle Javelin is built with modularity in mind and offers various customization options. You can opt in for a pre-built model or apply for a full customization service and choose a color, headlight type, handlebars, shocks, foot pegs, and the material used for the side panels. Speaking of the technical parameters, the Javelin uses a 4 kilowatt rear hub motor that's limited to 2 horsepower and a speed of 30 miles per hour to comply with federal regulations as a motor-driven cycle. However, the Javelin also has an off-road mode that unlocks 55 mile per hour speeds. With an installed 72 volt 40 amp hour battery pack, the bike weighs 185 pounds and can do up to 100 miles in the restricted city mode and up to 40 miles in the off-road mode. Other standard components include an inverted suspension fork, integrated front and rear lights, a 3.5 inch color display, motorcycle grade brakes, and 19 inch tires. This new electric urban mobility vehicle packs some interesting specifications and exciting engineering solutions, but how does it compare to the other upcoming models, as well as those that are already available for purchase? Let's take a closer look. Terra Prime When the market is dominated by mass-produced products with many plastic parts, it's quite surprising to see an e-bike that's not only hand-built but contains durable parts that can take a beating. The Colorado-based Terra bikes have been in business of creating battery-powered scrambler motorcycles for almost five years now. Their Terra Prime model is DOT-approved so it can be used on public streets as well as on off-road tracks. The two-wheeler features a chromally steel frame, a mid-mounted electric motor, an aluminum housing hiding a battery pack behind a decorative horizontal perforation, and an adventure-oriented long-travel suspension. The buyers can choose between a 32 amp hour, 50 amp hour, or 70 amp hour battery pack. With the standard battery, the Terra Prime weighs 155 pounds, while the largest battery option raises the weight to 190 pounds. Regardless of the chosen battery pack, you're getting a motor with 14.4 kilowatt peak power capabilities and a 60 mile per hour top speed. Maving RM1S The new Maving RM1S brings a significant performance boost, highway speed capabilities, and a bunch of technical upgrades, including a redesigned motor setup, improved suspension, brakes, seat design, and a reworked storage compartment that holds a more capable battery pack and 10 liters of your cargo. The new model relies on a 7 kilowatt electric hub motor with 10.5 kilowatt peak capabilities. The new motor is now matched to a battery setup with 21,700 cells that offers a 30% increase in capacity compared to its predecessor. The setup consists of two battery packs with 2.7 kilowatt hours of capacity, thus ensuring the 65 mile per hour top speed and up to 80 miles of continuous riding. The battery pack also received an improved heat dissipation structure and the support of both onboard and external charging. The full 0-100% to charge cycle is said to be about 4 hours. Over the past years, Maving managed to become one of the leaders in the UK market in terms of sales, so this year they announced an expansion to overseas markets. This expansion will also concern the US market. At this time, the American citizens can pre-order Maving's RM1S by leaving a $500 deposit, while the full purchase price is $8,995. DAB1 Alpha Two years after first showing their lightweight electric motorcycle concept to the public, the French DAB motorcycles are finally ready for serial production of the DAB1 Alpha. Limited to just 400 units, this motorcycle is a fine display of the latest EV technology, modern electronics, high-quality motorcycling parts, and handcrafted elements by skilled artisans. The mid-mounted electric motor is paired with a Gates carbon drive belt system to transfer 11 kilowatts of nominal and 25.5 kilowatts of peak output to the rear wheel. 
With 291 pound-feet of torque at the rear wheel, the model offers quick acceleration and a top speed of 80 miles per hour. A full charge of a 7.1 kilowatt hour battery pack could bring up to 93 miles of riding. However, the range estimations depend on the chosen performance mode, Eco, Standard, Sport, or Nitrous Boost. The bodywork is offered in two colors, white and gray, while the minimalist design features upcycled carbon fiber bodywork elements, an adjustable suspension fork with 10 golden treatment, an LED daylight strip, a handcrafted Alcantara saddle, and a glove box. Next, LEV NX1. Offered in two modifications, hub and mid-drive, the NX1 bike by the California-based company Nex LEV builds on the lightweight 6061 aluminum frame and weighs just 125 pounds without the removable battery. Depending on the chosen pack, which can range from 2 to 3.6 kilowatt hours in capacity, the bike's weight increases to 150 and 180 pounds respectively. The expected range is claimed at 45 to 80 miles, while the powertrain unit differs depending on the chosen model. The hub motor NX1S gets a 3 kilowatt unit that's capable of short 20 kilowatt bursts, and the mid drive R model features a more powerful 5 kilowatt motor with bursts up to 22 kilowatts. Both bikes offer three ride modes, with speeds limited to 10, 20, or 55 miles per hour in case of the off road mode. Both also come with 220mm disc brakes front and rear, fast ace forks, and hydraulic adjustable shocks, plus 19-inch wheels. Kawasaki ZE-1 and Ninja E-1 The first electric Kawasaki models are battery-powered alternatives to the fully cow-led Ninja and naked Z-bikes with 125cc displacement. Their bikes will be powered by an air-cooled, mid-mounted motor with single-reduction gear transmission. The motor has 5 kilowatts of nominal output and two performance settings, road and eco. In the eco mode, you can reach speeds up to 40 miles per hour, while the road mode unlocks 53 mile per hour top speed. If you need to pass someone on the highway or get an instant power flow, you can unlock the motor's 9 kilowatt peak output by activating the eBoost feature. With eBoost, the top speed is raised to 63 miles per hour. The motor draws its energy from two 50.4 volt 30 amp hour battery packs, good for 40 miles in the road mode. Speaking of motorcycling components, you're getting a 41mm telescopic front fork, single adjustable gas charged rear shock, dual piston brakes with ABS, an ergo fit system, and a TFT dash with smartphone connectivity. Kuberg Ranger The Ranger is a hybrid vehicle that mixes the features of a dirt bike and an electric scooter. It features an innovative lightweight frame with a retractable seat and powertrain components thoughtfully placed to ensure a low center of gravity. The two-wheeler was initially introduced over three years ago. However, a recent upgrade gave it a new motor setup, a more robust new front fork, tweaked software settings, and a more advanced recuperation technology. The e-bike is equipped with a 19-inch front wheel a downsized 14-inch rear wheel, a clutchless one-speed transmission, four-piston brakes, a 200mm suspension fork, and a DNM burner shock while retaining the overall weight of 110 pounds. The buyers can choose between three trim levels of the Ranger, the standard trim with 8 kilowatts and regen braking, the race trim with fenders and 14 kilowatts of output and the aforementioned reclining seat, and finally, the adventure trim that comes with a cargo trailer. The battery options include 24 or 48 amp hour options that offer either 19 or 38 miles of riding at speeds up to 50 miles per hour. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. 
If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.